It's meal prep time again. In this video, I meal prep healthy breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner that will get you 100 grams of protein per day. You guys wanted to see more grocery hauls. So first, I'm taking you guys along with us to the grocery store to get the ingredients. These groceries were more expensive than usually since we got the olive oil and mustard for example that will last us many weeks and I also got ingredients for my other recipe videos. The fresh vegetables and herbs are also very expensive. Just the asparagus cost 10 euros. You could save by swapping to frozen veggies and dried herbs. Then I headed to another store to get the ingredients we couldn't get from the first store. The total was 100 euros. Usually our meal prep ingredients cost around 60 to 70 euros. I'm meal prepping all the meals except the snack for both my boyfriend and I and I'm meal prepping for 3 days. So all the meals for one day cost around 15 euros per person. It's now the next day and time for the meal prep. Let's start by meal prepping breakfast. You liked the baked oats recipe in the previous video, so this time I'm making a bigger batch and the recipe is made in one pan. First, I mash 4 bananas. Then I add 6 eggs. Three cups of oats. Three cups of Greek yogurt, which is a good source of protein. Then I add one tablespoon of baking powder and two tablespoons of cinnamon and two teaspoons of vanilla extract for some flavor and lastly some milk then I just mix all the ingredients together I top the baked oats with strawberry slices and dark chocolate chips you could use any berries you like Then I bake them at 180 Celsius degrees, 350 in Fahrenheit for about 40 minutes. I let them cool down and then I cut them into pieces. These baked oats are super easy to make and they're such a yummy breakfast idea. You can enjoy them cold or reheat a couple of pieces in the microwave in the morning. For lunch, I'm making a Greek-style pasta salad. 
First, I cook some lentil pasta. You could also use chickpea pasta. Both are high in protein and great sources of fiber. Then I add all the ingredients for the pasta salad into a big container. The pasta, lots of grape tomatoes, one cucumber, crumble feta, kalamata olives, and bell peppers. For the dressing, I added garlic infused olive oil, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, oregano, salt and pepper into a small container. Then I just shaked until all the ingredients were combined. Then I poured the dressing into the container and mix all the ingredients together. This pasta salad is such a quick lunch idea and it's so delicious. For snack, I'm making smoothie jars. So the point is to add all the ingredients except milk into glass jars. You could also use a Ziploc bags and then store them in the freezer. This saves some time because then you have almost ready smoothies in the freezer. I'm adding frozen mango, kiwis, spinach, and vegan vanilla protein powder. You could leave out the protein powder and just add some Greek yogurt to the smoothie when blending for the protein. Then before serving, just pour all the ingredients from the jar into a blender and add some milk. I love making smoothies, so this is a fun way to meal prep them. Look at the color of the smoothie, it's so pretty. The smoothie is so refreshing and perfect for spring. For dinner, I'm making chicken with roasted vegetables and a green goddess dressing. First, I chop some veggies. Then I spread the vegetables on two baking pans lined with parchment paper. Then I drizzle some olive oil on top and add a pinch of salt. I marinated chicken breasts with garlic infused olive oil, lemon juice, oregano, Dijon mustard, and some salt and pepper. I let them marinate for about one hour. Then I place them onto a baking pan lined with parchment paper. I bake the chicken and the veggies at 200 Celsius degrees, 390 in Fahrenheit, the chicken for 20 minutes, and the veggies for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, I cook some rice and make the dressing. I've seen the green goddess dressing all over social media, so I had to try it out. I added fresh basil, parsley, and chives. Then I added some Greek yogurt. Choose off one lemon.
light mayo. A little bit of Dijon mustard for flavor. And lastly, a pinch of salt and pepper. If you don't have IBS, add some garlic to this as well. This dressing works so well with this meal. You could use this as a salad dressing or even as a dip. Such a tasty meal. And here are all the ready meals. Ring recipes for all the meals are in the description box. Let me know down in the comments what kind of recipes you would like to see next. Hope you tried the recipes. Enjoy!